today we are going to create this full stack Next.js app with Next.js 30 and it is a crash course you are going to learn complete Next.js so what you are going to learn like create this energy thing app in which you can get the prompt like prompt from chat GPT kind of prompt you can get like when you copy it I also have a copy function so I can copy it and take it here and I can see it okay so we copy it we have put it in a chat GPT so this is like a prompt and you can also search for the prompts like uh, if I search for P Y T H O N Python is coming and uh, I can click on some tab also like this I can click on this also JavaScript has been shown and I can go and create post also let me write some post okay so let me go cancel first so that you can see and one more thing I want to show if I go to this it will show my post on here okay? so and I can delete this post okay so I can delete it and it will be deleted if I come here I will be else post is also be shown someone else's post is also be shown and then we can create a post again here so let me have that thing yes we know it is same thing or that is whatever it is java in the latest uh, map function in maybe in the latest i will write i think i have a question like this latest java i'll write the latest java okay maybe if there is map function i'll create it so 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 java is coming so this is what we are going to create today and we are also going to deploy it with Versal, so it is going to be completely deployed in Versal and you can show it to your friends and uh, potential employers. I am on my desktop, so as always, we have to do everything from the terminal. So I am here and uh, let me do the famous uh, come on, npx create next app and the rate latest and the rate latest. And uh, it will ask me yes, proceed, and then it will ask me the project name. So I write it because we are doing a next day's 13 crash course. So next crash course, and uh, add step no, yes, need no, tell me yes, 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 and see directory no. App router, yes, so you should uh, do like this one. Like, we are not uh, doing it uh, TypeScript create right now, so TypeScript is no no yes linked note. Uh, Telling CSS, yes, we are going to do SRC directory, uh, no. App router, yes, we are going to use the like uh, the app router, yes. And uh, would you like to customize the default import? A the customize the default import alias, yes. And uh, would import alias would you like to configure? So whatever is it like uh, this? Uh, add the weight and this it is okay. And maybe I will uh, mention it also. Add the weight. Start this. I guess, or maybe by default it is there. It's better not to do. Okay. So I do it, and it will be done. So. Now the next thing which we are going to add. See Next.js app doesn't take a lot of time. Like React.js, if I would have to stop this uh, recording and do it. But Next.js doesn't take a lot of time. So I'm here. Then I'll do a N M I B C R Y P T decrypt. Decrypt. Oh, something wrong. We should be inside that directory. So CV or it will do everything on the next end. So C. This next this crash course is okay. See the next chase and let me do have clear so that I can have something. And uh, let me do that N P M I B C R Y P T Mongo B V and uh on rules and next org next org. Okay, so this all I will give. Bcrypt, uh, Bcrypt ASP, I want to use Bcrypt uh, for encrypting a password. MongoDB to access the MongoDB database. Mongoose, which is, it is required to access the MongoDB database in a correct way. Next part, because we are going to use authorization also in our project. So I will uh, do a code dot and it will open the code in my VS code. Okay, so yeah, it is open. So that is done. Okay. So that is done. And uh, now, what we are going to do first, we are going to delete all the files in the app directory. Like this, 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 all the files. Right click and 
delete i don't need them so i'm deleting them then in this public folder we are also deleting this we are going to regrade them next svg and virtual svg they are the file for the images so we have deleted that also so now uh, uh, we will create uh, some components uh, some folders in our project right now so public is there so here in this after this app we will have here and uh, here i will do a components models styles utils and also dot env dot env and we have so this all I am going to have and uh, our uh, tailbone config dot js file is there we are going to also change a bit of the thing from here and the github, uh, github link will be there at the end of this uh, youtube like uh, in the description the github link will be there you can change this thing so this is the configuration which we are doing for the tailbone so by default see you can see like these things are there so i will have something else here so that i'm pasting it and it's just a configuration so if you can see like import statement and uh, content and all this uh, uh, i have changed and i will save it okay so now also all of our styles uh, like uh, where is the styles okay so no problem Styles uh, we will add so we will add a yellow VLS global dot CSS global dot CSS file and global dot CSS file will add our own styles here so and uh, you can again take this from the hand I'm not going to explain much but uh, it is like uh, that nice looking background and all it is coming from here and uh, importing a nice font and also the table base and all these things I'm doing okay, now I will save it now after uh, this okay so uh, inside this uh, public folder we are going to uh, add an assets folder and uh, assets folder and uh, let us add those things then let's talk so public folder okay. one sec inside this public i'll have this assets folder so assets folder is there and inside this this icon is there okay so like this uh, icon is there and images are there these two things are there which you can again take it from the data at the end of this like in the description you can take this in so we have added our assets in the project so now in the app uh, folder we are going to create uh, two files first file is uh, like uh, lay layout dot js and the second file is Page dot this so things the close the things which are not required layout dot js and page dot js. So in the layout dot js, let us put some code. Ah, uh, layout dot js. Here I am going to first uh, import add. See, this is the new way to import everything in uh, your uh, so add styles below bulbs dot css add styles okay add styles global dot css i'm importing this thing okay so that is there now after this i will have a export const meta data equal to item is Easy AI E R O M P T Easy Account Description is 
easily share AI cons. Right. So this is the metadata which we are going to use and in this then you can use metadata. So after this we'll have a cons layout why I'm going like this. We have R A F C E. So when you use the everything is like we are from So once we out have done. Now after this, I will have a delay. Shall we run here and then this? Uh, I will have first. HTML land equal to EN body div dot main and div dot gray client you got me and you got me again I have and then after this div I will have a main dot app and then chill right main dot app and till then I will have saved it now uh, one more thing we need to do before going higher so this uh, jsconf.json file is there so here also we need to make one change here at star Okay. Mm, I think the uh, okay the changes is like uh, this should go away. Okay, and the rate and it should be like this. So it is taking everything properly. Path is proper. So make sure it is like this. Okay. So that is there. Yeah. Now uh, in the page. I am going to go and page I will write R A F C E in the page I will write home home okay So like this. So uh, so one sec. I want to check my node version. Node dash v sixteen. Okay. So earlier when I created this project, uh, Nexus was not working properly with the uh, 16 version. Let me see whether it will work properly or not. Uh, or else I have this NVM also installed on my Mac. So you can also install on this Windows. Uh, uh, okay, it is not there, I think. Okay, it is not there. If it is not there, then I will install it anyways. Uh, not an issue. Okay, so because the 16 was not working properly earlier but let, let us go ahead and if some issue is there I will do because uh, bringing this uh, up also is a task is a big task okay so npm run dev because this is how our next project is started once we go to the package you can see this there's a dev is there npm start doesn't works properly in next day's project npm run dev works properly so let me do this thing everything is okay they have sorted out that issue because next is strange still a lot of experimentation so not experimental so it causes a lot of issues like right now also so slowly it will be true uh, because next is third have a lot of changes in comparison to earlier next days which was quite stable so it is like that okay so let me do it see they fixed so, uh, that uh, node issue also because earlier I was facing that node issue where, where uh, node.js uh, 16 was not working even this home page I was not able to bring the home page okay so but in the browser we are seeing this home page like how we are seeing this home page and all so that is something like in the app whatever we be there with the page it will be shown here so 
that is the like uh, the first starting point yeah. and the underscore underscore app was there something in the earlier version of node.js and all yeah. so those things are also not there right now so anything with the name of page will be there okay so yeah. that is there now in the in the home page uh, we are going to yeah. add uh, some more thing here right so Okay, one sec. So I don't write uh, the whole thing, all of code. Okay, so because we are using table and CSS in our project, we won't have to write much of CSS. Okay, control shift P. So it's a tailing CSS feed is something which I don't have right now. So section is there, uh, which is V full flex center. You can take a tailing CSS class. I'm going to tailing CSS and you know this thing like this tailwind is there. Discover, yeah, it is all text again. So P is there and P section is there. If I save it and Sometimes I have to refer this is something which I have seen in Next.js which is not there in React. This is sometimes what happens is you have to refresh it uh, needs a lot of refresh. Okay. So this is all this is all funny nice like all and gradient is also something which I am using. And uh, some of these things are not coming from your tailing uh, CSS. Some of these things are also coming from here like uh, I think this uh, Yellow gradient is coming from here, but again here something like tailwind thing is there. Okay, so it is like tailwind, VG gradient to R and all those things. That these are all tailwind. Okay. So this page is showing. So by default, what happens in Next.js? It is not like React. Some index JS is there. App dot JS is there. So okay. So this is not like that. So you guys can see there is nothing here. Okay, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. It is directly coming to this app folder and it will uh, run the. Uh, like this uh, layout and through layout whatever is there because this layout is also doing a lot of things here mm -hmm. this page is there page keyword is there mm -hmm. and this will run so all the because i'm showing the children here so this is how this run so this is how the starting point of a nexus not nexus but nexus 13 nexus 13 has a lot of baking changes in comparison to earlier nexus where we used to have the underscore app dot js and all those things it was just having a starting point it doesn't have any starting point and all something like that okay so this is app so now in the components i am going to create some components like a pink dot yes dot js map dot js profile dot js mpt from card dot js By that dot js okay so like this I will have so let us have some basic React functional component there RFCE save it close it RAFCE save it RAFCE save it close it close it RAFCE Save it, close it, RAFCE. Save it, close it, RAFCE. Save it, close it. So I have created all these new components. So and also saved it and closed it. And uh, now uh, going back to the layout.js file, what uh, we are going to have like uh, uh, we have to use work on our nav component after this because we need to have a nice nav bar. okay so right okay so before this children i will have a an ap nav how we are importing from uh, next this it's a bit different nav from 
at the rate components man this is how like it automatically told me this okay okay so like this uh, i'm done and the nav bar is there so now it's time to go to the nav bar and work on it okay so okay so let me write this time okay this number you know so uh, first thing is this return or as you say that everything in code is saying that nav is there nav is there inside this nav everything will be there and then i will have a task name equal to let's pick the w pull margin bottom 16 Three. Okay, like this I'll have, and then another link tab. Okay, next thing, link will be next link, and uh, href equal to and just like this, and as name equal to let's. Gap two. Let's enter, and then I will have a image. And again, like uh, this is a, but it is not coming. This is next image. Next image is a highly optimized image. Okay, you should always try to use like next image. You will not require a serial in your life. Okay, right? so. Oh, yeah, so this one, next image. Okay, next image is there, and uh, right now I am going to like okay. This link tag is like a uh, real cowper link, but it is a next link. It is a little bit different. Okay, so this in in as a image is there, then I will have a SRC. Ah, uh, equal to I'll hard copy it right now. Assets. So this is how you directly you can access the assets if something is in the. Public folder. I can directly accept it. Uh, I just it like the assets, and then uh, I will do the new images. This one and uh, icon. This one I do. Yeah, this icon. So slash icons ninety six dot png. I have. Okay. Edit. Now I will. Uh, Have uh, a alt equal to logo and width equal to t height equal to t your doubt t last name equal to Object and the okay. So that is it. After this uh, thing, uh, image I will have a P dot logo text, and it is easy AI font. Easy font, but it is as always it is like uh, not showing. Because fresh it, I don't know why I have not fresh it again. Okay, so it is showing, it is showing like this. Okay, so uh, one more thing here in next is if you create something like page dot js or something, it is not, it is uh, exactly next js component. But if you want to use even this is specifically next js thirteen. If you want to use something like use effect and use state, they Say that it is like something based to React and it is something based for client side programming. So what you have to do? So uh, suppose and soon we are going to use the user that we stayed in this project. So let me do this. Like if you have a like import use tag comma you will state anything related to React here. All right. So what you have to do here? You have to go here. And uh, the top, you have to write use like yeah, use line type. You have to write like this. Use line type. Write like this. So that is there. Now I will uh, do some more imports here. So in 
put sign in comma sign out comma news session comma get providers from next auth react like this all these things you are going to input sign in sign out use session and you are going to see how easy auth is also here so this is done ok so save it So uh, we are going to have a variable now in response is log n equal to true like this and have and then after this link I will have a div and then uh, class name equal to sm text so the small string this this will be hidden and then if log in if the is log in is there we are going to show some of the things or else we are going to show something else which we are soon going to fill it but not right now So here I will have a div So I will have a div here So this div will have a Class name equal to S Gap 3 And the Gap something which you need to create so this uh, um, create prompt will be there and then ask name equal to black etn okay like this and then could be there and uh, one sec So after this link, we'll have a nice uh, looking button with, with the on click of sign on and uh, uh, sign out will be there, this button, uh, on click sign out which uh, we have to need to create now and the class name and the outline button is there and the other thing is there, uh, beside this uh, we will also have a This link will be having a href equal to slash pro file profile and image again image do we have the image yes we do have the image image that I was searching for let me copy these things is this uh, this uh, logo all it is pro file profile class me with then all uh, i think it is 37 and 37 which we are going to change and all and the class name will be uh, not object it contain it will be r u n b e p full rounded full and let me save it and again as you 
actually it is not coming so i will uh, check seek the create post button which is like a which will uh, take us to this uh, slash create prompt so that is there then uh, uh, this button is there which is for sign up and uh, we have this uh, slash profile is also there so all the routes are actually set up okay so const providers comma set providers equal to use state of null and then use effect of this and this use effect will run in the component in mount ray then we have a const o by the fn equal to async test and then const res equal to await get provider so this get provider is based from next odd which is coming so this get provider is from there and then set providers is res and provider function and it will be done okay so now if the user is not logged in okay so his login is uh, uh, like uh, true we have done so it will show like this if the user is uh, not logged in the primary operator which was there we have to fill it which we have not fill it yet so let us do that thing okay so here i will go and uh, do the providers and then if the providers is there then let us do uh, object dot values so by this dot map provider so providers object dot values because providers uh, is an object it will make an array out of it okay so provider i have done then after that i will show a button here it is not working button here which will be sign in equal to button e equal to o by the or mean on click equal to and then save it now um, now for a uh, next auth so we need to have a session provider for the next auth to wrap all the children components so what uh, this uh, provider and all which we have created so what we need to do here we need to have in this components we already have that thing a provider dot js file so we will complete it first provider dot js file again i will come here and do a use client like this and then import session JSON is there, and then in this provider, I will have a children comma session. So in this. 
this thing that I'm going to have a section provider which we have imported and here we will get the children and session equal to session in the sign select and uh, now this is something which we need for all so all is generally comparatively easier here we don't have to do a lot of setup so now the day of which will always be running here what we need to do we need to wrap the provider in all of our components so how do we do that so to do that uh, we'll come here after this body body is there and uh, so wide uh, this provider is there which we have imported this provider will wrap everything which is here this provider will fly grab everything which is here now okay. now we are going to do the authentication through google so what we need to do we need to go to this site okay we are not doing it in firebase and all we are going to google also you can do it console.cloud.google.com you have to do see AZ welcome I have already created this project but it's always better to like uh, do it again so it, it will uh, show your earlier project so what I need to do here I have to click here I have to click here and see this it is showing me all of the project so I do a new project here and then this uh, new project name it will ask so I already have a easy AI VRO and PP I already have okay found so I will write YP because it is for me to use the AI prompt E2 and then I will click on the create button then uh, it's creating then I have to do the select project we are viewing this thing okay you should also check okay so it is like black okay right now now what we have to do you have to click here and then you have to go to API services and auth consent screen you have to go and here uh, you don't have to choose anything here okay so this is very important you don't have to choose anything here you go and create it then uh, logo and all I don't need app logo and all so I'll scroll a bit down Mm, see again one mandatory thing is there so which is again it will ask me for my email address okay so and it should be exactly the email address through which you are logging okay now at gmail.com okay so like this I go and then save and continue we have to do it is not, pro not properly created then uh, okay. now in the credentials tab you have to go and uh, you have to click on this create credentials and then what client ID we have to do what client ID so application type is web application uh, name is web client one is ok uh, add the authorized javascript origin it is it should be this okay. local storage uh, local host okay, but the backslash should not be there they are also telling that the backslash should not be there add URL for this and again the top meter or backslash here and then I will do a create okay so over the screen created okay so it will give us both the client ID and the 
client secret, both of them, you have to click and as always, I will delete this project so that uh, I can use it and show it on the YouTube and delete this project after that. So I've seen sometimes a lot of people are going to use this same thing again. Okay. So that is that I will copy both of them. Okay, let me have this thing in here. Quickly have this thing in the EMB. So EMB is uh, first thing that like Google underscore ID equal to save so this thing. And I will guess uh, even if the database has been given, the uh, EMB file will not be there. So Google bank SECRET secret. Equal to Google find secret equal to this thing. Save it and save it. So let me close it. Let me give OK. So that is done. So now what you are going to do? You are going to create the API endpoints uh, in next CSE yes, or next just you can do a lot of server side stuff also. So we are going to create the API endpoints now. So for that, what uh, we are uh, going to do uh, is uh, it needed to be created inside the API folder inside app. So that is the rule. Like that, folder names are quite important here. Okay. So inside this uh, app, I am going to create a API folder. And inside this API folder, I am going to create a auth folder. Auth folder. And inside this auth folder, so this is some weird kind of stuff. Inside this auth folder, I go here and do a, this square bracket and dot dot dot. Next auth like this I have to do. So this is this something like uh, weird stuff that you have to do. And now inside that it should be exactly like this. I will have a new file called ROUPE route.js. Okay. Route.js will be there and here only we are going to create you see this is the four fold folder star side app that is API auth next auth is there and inside that we have this route dot uh, js file and route dot uh, js file is there mm, one sec okay. so in this route dot uh, js file i will have a const and equal next op and by it is giving a old kind of an extra Start on um, next on like this, then I have this uh, provider, Google provider. Client uh, ID is process dot Google ID and uh, process dot env dot Google secret. So this is what we are putting the env. After this uh, thing, we we'll have a sync session session. This will soon going to complete, and then. Get and render as 
is post handler. It should be handler as cat and handler as post. Right. So these two things will be there. I will save it now. Now uh, we need to connect uh, with the MongoDB. So for that, what we need to do is uh, go here and uh, this utils folder is there. Here I will create a db.js file and inside this db.js file, let us uh, connect it to now connect to the MongoDB. Again, a bit of boilerplate code only import mongoose from this is connected is false. Export const MongoDB async so MongoDB is a set uh, uh, strict query. I need this thing or else it will throw some good warning. If it's connected, then console or MongoDB is connected or return and try then. I'm uh, uh, doing this uh, mongoose dot connect uh, mongoose URL which we need to create soon is connected is true and MongoDB connected to the database like this will have. So comment connection, I will save it. Okay, so that is there. I will create the MongoDB connection. Okay, so let us do that. One sec. Okay, so yeah. So head over to cloud.mongodb.com and then Login with Google. I have a lot of projects. So, okay, see, as I have to like a lot of projects, so I'll go here. I have to scroll a bit down and then click on the new project. Okay. So, this one, as I will take the like the same name. Okay, so easy AI PROMPT YT YouTube. Next. Pass my email next. Uh, create a deployment. It is asking. Then it is asking this thing. I have to take the free one. I have to take the one which is closest to me, which is Mumbai. Then this is okay. They are asking for a cluster name also. I will leave it like this, but I will not leave it like this. Easy A I E R O. MPT YT and even give actually up. Yeah. Then I'll do the creating. It should be free one, not this one paid one. Anyways, it will ask for credit card information if you choose this one. So now it is asking for the password and all. So I will give it admin and this also admin so that I can remember this rank up. So that is there. And then I will go to wait user. So it will create the user. Okay. So, it will also add the IP address, my IP address, but the problem with this thing is that it is not uh, correct, like uh, they, they, you get one issue here, because I, I have worked in Bombardier for such a long time, I know. Mm -hmm. So, you have to go to this network access, add IP address, allow access from anywhere, confirm. Okay, so this is something which you need to do. Mm -hmm. Then, um, it will do both of them things, I will... Uh, Again, go back to the database okay, and it will show like this. Let it uh, complete, it will take hardly 10 15 more seconds. Yep, it is done. Uh, network access is also done. Database here to go, it is done. Then you have to go to this connect and MongoDB for VS code. You have to do this MongoDB for VS code. So you have to select this. I will select this, I will get uh, something like this. So I'll go here, copy it, and uh, since we are using, uh, let me copy this also. So this I'll go and uh, environment variable after my Google one to do this thing MongoDB URI equal to as usual. As usual, I delete all these things. Right. So this is there, and you have to give the password here, like admin. I will give again. And uh, I will keep it like this only because DB I am giving like uh, the DB name as prompt. Okay, so I don't have to give anything else, but this backslash should be there. I will save it, close it, and then 
uh, as with MongoDB, we need models in MongoDB. So we will go here and we create the models because MongoDB require models by using this Next.js or Node.js or anything else you need. It requires models. So I'll go to these models and do the user dot js okay user.js and the uh, model will be just like a uh, mongodb model okay so one sec so okay so i will paste it here and it is like schema model and models for mongoose email type this type is string, it is unique, is required. If some error is there, we get this error. Email already exists, required is also there. Username string, which is also there. And then we have to do this like this. Okay, and export it. It is almost similar to what we do in Node.js, but with the Next.js. See, we are using a Next.js. Uh, we are creating API with Next.js. So it is it is Next.js in its full uses. Like you are creating the API endpoints also. And we are creating the front end also. So it is a full stack app. Okay. So like this, it is there. And then safety format selection. Save it. Oh, it is done. Now, the... Uh, back in this uh, route.js file where we have this next just all uh, we need to connect to the uh, database uh, from here so what we need to do here uh, first thing this uh, sign in is there so we will create something here sign in and we will have a try catch block first and this catch block will have an error clg error checking for uh, user like this comma error dot message and return false like this it is there and then await connect to db so what is this connect to db this is the file which we have created here, export cons connect to db. So we are connecting to the db here. Then const user exists users exist equal to user. So what is this user? The user is this model which we have just created and we imported this also. User, uh, it will be actually, it will be await because it's an async task await will be there user dot find one again a mongodb uh, thing like find one and email is profile dot email and if not of user exists then await user dot create email is profile dot email user name is profile dot name and image is profile dot picture like this okay. and also we have to do a return of true here okay so this is the whole thing return of true is also required so that is rare and uh, we are going to create a, a code for this session also. So const session user equal to await user dot find one and email is session dot 
dot user dot email and session dot user dot id equal to session user which we just created dot underscore id this is how it is stored in mongodb dot to string two string will be there and then the wait time is session like this we will add this also now the next thing is that we need to have uh, something here in the environment file so we'll go back to the environment file here and uh, we'll have a uh, uh, next url equal to then uh, next url internal equal to and next auth secret equal to next url uh, will be this thing okay you are able to this next uh, back you never have this uh, backslash not be there not be there and the secret can be anything so i'll write it the web dev you can write your name also it doesn't matter okay it should be secret okay so that is done now uh okay so copy those things what we are updating here is so experimental it's experimental thing app directories to server pa component external packages images uh, google content that is coming and web pack and all so this is something about the platform which you need to have so i will save it now i will uh, go back to my where is my component go back to my nav.js file here uh, i had like a uh, earlier hard coded uh, something like uh, is logged in user and all so i will remove this and instead of this i will have a okay so const data session equal to use session uh, this use session is something which we are getting from next auth okay next auth we are getting this use session and then instead of this is logging we'll have a s e s s i o n dot user because this can be null so it's always better to have another question mark which is a react thing so that we don't get undefined and all mm -hmm. uh, okay so we also need to do some more configuration in uh, google console mm -hmm. so we'll go here and uh, click on this uh, web client one which we just created one here mm -hmm. and uh, here this authorized uh, redirect uh, URIs, authorize redirect URIs. Uh, we so this is something which we need to do. Authorize redirect URI. Mm -hmm. We'll add a second URI. Let this be there. I will go here, click it, and add this thing. Okay, so API Google and all. So this needed to be done. So I will save it. So now what is save? So let me go here. We not yet started it. And jump run dev. Okay, so we are like, a, okay, I'm not seeing <laughs> anything here. Okay, okay. Uh, I should see something here. Okay, so let me check it out by I'm not seeing anything. Why do waste our time? Let me check it out by I'm not seeing anything. There were a lot of issues which I needed to fix. The next day is too cutting edge. So the problem was with this package.json. So,
even with the minor changes in the versions, I was getting errors. So what I did, uh, I copied it from an earlier project. All of these dependencies, you can see like, uh, and then I removed the package.log.json file and the node models and then did the npm install to install it. And uh, one more thing which we need to change in the route is that at this callback, this, this callback should uh, wrap this callback should wrap this async section and async signing. Mm. Okay, so that is one more thing. And another thing in this nav, everything is like what we have done. Uh, the only thing is that uh, I have, uh, instead of this hard-coded user, I am I have changed it to the user, which we, have be, which we are going to get it from the, uh, your um, Google, because we are using this Google API credentials and all. So we will get my Google ID. So that is what we are showing. So now we are getting the sign in button because uh, we are not uh, logged in and this provider is showing if this provider will go. And then when, when I click on this sign in, it will like it will go here and uh, to the uh, next day signing thing and all these things, uh, it will ultimately go here and try to sign in with the MEH and all these things. So I'm signing. So everything is right okay yeah i will sign in so first time it will ask you for your uh, google and all ids so because i already logged in so it was there in the cookie so it, did, it didn't ask it but see my image is been shown the image uh, which is there in this snap so i am where is the image yeah session user dot image it has been shown and i am going to sign out and the profile page okay if i do this sign out this sign out is uh, also working fine. Okay. So that is there because this uh, uh, sign out will again call this uh, sign out thing. So this uh, sign out is again coming from next path. Okay. So that is working. And again, I will do a signing so that I am signed in. So I have been done. Okay. So that is there. That is the thing which I fixed uh, in the meanwhile. And uh, now what uh, we need to do? We need to now do like a uh, learning functionality is completed. So what we are going to do now, we are going to create the prompt functionality because we want to create some prompt and all. So we are going to do that. So for creating a prompt, what we need to do here, I'm going to go here package.json. I don't need this anymore. This anymore, no need this anymore. So I'll go here and this uh, app is there. Okay. App and API. So, uh, prompt uh, will not be an API. So, inside this app, see, next is setting this app has become suddenly very, very, very important. So, inside this app, what I need to do uh, inside this app, I will create a new folder called uh, create prompt. Prompt. Why create prompt? Because I think, okay, I have closed this in my uh, this. This is create prompt. Okay, so when I create post, create post, it is it is goes to this create prompt. So that's why I have done this create prompt or whatever name it would have been. I would have to give that. Then inside this uh, create prompt, I will do a p a g e page dot js. Again, this page dot js you have to write a lot in this. Okay, like this page dot js is a keyword. Okay, every time page dot js you have to do. Okay, so first thing first R F C E, but it will create with the name of page. I don't need with want it to the create name of page. I want it with the name of uh, create P R O M P D create prompt. Okay, create prompt and do save it and post it and save it. Okay. Create prompt. Maybe I will write it here. Also create prompt, save it. Uh, now this uh, create prompt. If I click here. I'll go to this create prompt. So add this as we all know next day it is routing is so easy. Okay. So that is there. Now it's time to like uh, add something in this uh, create prompt. Again, it will be uh, quite a big page and all. So this create prompt, we will start adding things. Again, because it has got some React functionality, we intend to use like use state hook and all. So we have to do something like very annoying and nice is that like use client whenever you use some react functionalities like use state who cannot you have to use this use client then uh, in port use state 
from React. Okay, then I will have to use the okay one sec. Uh, I don't have it here. Okay, so let me write it. Import use session um next auth react right. then the next will be next i will create later on so uh let us have uh, something more here okay one sec So I will also have uh, like a uh, sec. Okay, so let me have something like uh, why to write everything like uh, two things which I am going to have is like a. Uh, uh, Committing and set committing is the use state, and again another uh, use state is the post and set post. Again, the use state it's a object which has the prompt and a tag. Then I will have a uh, const uh, create e r o m p t a create prompt function equal to a sync e like this and e dot prevent e e f a u l t e dot prevent default i will do and uh, then we are going to call the f o r m form form from components we are going to call mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to pass some things here like uh, type equal to uh, although we have not created anything in the form it's just a simple component create type equal to create we are going to reuse this thing type equal to create post equal to post and uh, set post also we are going to send set post equal to set post and uh, sub meeting equal to this uh, submitting so uh, we are actually passing all this thing submitting equal to submitting and then we are also going to pass a uh, and tell s u p m i t a props called handle summit it will be create prompt so this functions function which is there which is that create prompt and then let us go to our so see a create prompt we are seeing this form so we will go to this uh, form component which uh, right now doesn't have anything uh, but we are expecting uh, some of the things from here like uh, Type we are expecting. So let me destructure it here. Type um, uh, we are expecting post and set post. So I will do that also post and set post. Then I will have a uh, submitting and Handle submit, okay. Submitting and handle submit, I will do and uh, okay. So, so let us have something here, okay. So, uh, section we are going to have uh, inside this section i don't want to write all the things like uh, in this uh, section i will have a class name again uh, we are using a lot of tailwind so this class name will be there and then inside this uh, i will have a h1 and a p See, I'm going to do something like, like we are going to use this form component two three times so h1 and p so type post is I'm using the type which I'm sending it here. So create post will come. And in the P also create and say mind blowing blowing prompt blah 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 to everyone. I will save it and we are going to see this nice thing here. Now the next thing is a 
uh, form. So we need the form here. After the speed tag, we will have a FORM form. As always, we don't need the action. So I will not remove it. And uh, inside this uh, form, I will uh, first let me have uh, something here. In this uh, form, like it will have a like a on summit. See, this on summit is calling this handle summit, and this handle summit will call this create post. So this is we are using method as props also. Uh, common react functionality okay so that is something which we are using and then the next thing which uh, we are going to use is like a label i'm going to use and in this label some font is there and the ai form set post set post which we were sending it and i'm taking the prompt is uh, e dot target dot value whatever the user type in the text area i'm taking that in the prompt and i'm sending it back in the set post okay set post and the set post is having a prompt and a tag so i need to pass both of them prompt uh, dot 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 post so means tag will definitely go so write a post here and this is there and i will save here and uh, we'll see this nice the ai prompt and the text area and all these things uh, will will be there so uh, next we are also going to finish this uh, form so in this form we are going to have some more things like uh, our label and uh, we have all those things that and i will tell so uh, label uh, i have added one more label which is for the uh, uh, prompt like uh, you have to part what is there in the prompt it is javascript web development or react js so what is that okay so that you have to write and then uh, just uh, like i mean, let me save it first okay so that is okay okay it is telling me that uh, link is not been done okay maybe i have not imported the link name from next link save it now see so now see this in this uh, prompt i have written that like, okay these things are required and then the uh, tag is uh, i am taking this tag dot 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 post and tag so again this set post but this time i am taking the tag here so this is one of way to do it and then the thing submit button is there so submit uh, button is like it will show me uh, submitting and the type is create so that is there and uh, cancel will take me back to the home page and this is like the submitting and my uh, form has this handle submit okay so that is there okay so now we are done with this thing now in the uh so we can enter anything here and all those things will work completely fine that is not an issue so back in the page dot uh, we need to go back to our uh, this create prompt we need to go back and add more things like we are now getting the data and all so we need to add more things so we'll come here and the first thing which uh, we are going to use we are going to use the next just router and the next session we are going to use so i will have a const rou here equal to use router from next router and uh, const data and session is equal to use session like this use session save it and then uh, use router it is giving me error one sec so use after from next navigation okay so sometimes there are two three libraries and it took the wrong one use router from next navigation it is working fine now okay so the next thing is that i we need to do the api call now so either prevent default the moment i create on this create it is coming back to this page and then we need to do the api call so we are going to do the api call here so here what we are going to do have some space here and we are going to go here and right? save and uh, 
So cry is the response of a fetch API by using slash API slash prompt slash new. I'm doing method is post JSON stringify. I'm taking the uh, prompt uh, like uh, what is the prompt I'm taking, which is this. I'm taking the user ID and also the tag I'm taking, which I'm getting. Okay, the so user ID also I'm taking. Because I want to save which user did this thing. If response is okay, router dot push is there or catch is there. And finally, finally, which always run set submitting is. False, I will do. Uh, but uh, we have taken this slash API from new, but we have not yet created the backend API endpoint for this. And as usual, we are going to create that in uh, next JS, like here only we are going to create it. So for this, first thing is that uh, in the inside the okay, from the start, so in the models, we have a user. So like this, in the models, we will have a Prompt.js from the JS file also will be here, and uh, it is again like it uh, will be not very difficult. So prompt.js and uh, uh, let us see what we have it here. Okay, so we have a creator which is type of object ID because that is why the name in 3G will be saved in our in data cloud. Then mm -hmm. ref is user. See, this is something which you can use in MongoDB. Ref is user means it is taking the reference of this user. Okay, so because it will be based on that because a prompt will belong to a user. The prompt is of type of string required, is under form, tag is like this, models are prompt, and all these things are like this. Okay, so I will save it here. Uh, now, Inside the see this, uh, now we have to create actually uh, this API and slash API prompt new. So, this is something which we need to create. Slash API is already there. So, inside this, some odd thing which we have. So, inside this API, I will come and inside this, first thing I have to create is prompt and then a new thing I will create. So, inside this API new folder, I will create it as PROMP3. Prompt and uh, then I have to create a new folder as new and R O U T E dot J S route dot J S and do so again see every time we have to do this like this route dot J S whether you do it in this auth or something. So this is something again like a thing is like page dot J S is there, route dot J S is also there. Okay, so this route dot J S uh, we have created it. So let us add uh, something here. Yeah, so So inside this new now.js is there. I will uh, save it. Okay, so here what I'm doing so prompt is coming from this uh, prompt. Okay, so uh, then I am having uh, this model I'm taking connect to DB is there and then export const uh, post and uh, uh, this is a post route. So this will be a bit different than what we have here. This is a bit more complicated. Okay, so next route because it's all route. This is a binary route. User ID, content tag. So this is how we create route in uh, next JS. It is different than Node.js. This is a full stack app. Okay, so try connect to the DB. The new prompt I am taking new prompt the model later and this thing and new prompt dot save but then also it's a lot similar to uh like node.js code which you do like new prompt dot save save we have there and then i'm sending back the response or else i'm sending back the error so it is quite similar to the node.js code which we are so familiar to create okay so it is quite similar okay so not like everything is different okay no it is not like that okay so that is there and uh now Now, moment of truth, and I will write something, some nice prompt. So, this is a prompt thing, okay. So, I explain how we will write something good how the map function works. And I don't want to write from lorem ipsum, I hate lorem ipsum in the real thing. Java script, okay. How this runs in JavaScript. So, J A B A. 
SCRIPT JavaScript and uh, that will be your create. Everything is right, then only it will create because what we have done in this form, I am uh, uh, having everything in this page and all. So, then uh, have the front end also. This is the front end world and this is the back end world. So, that is what it is the next day. You can create both front end and back end. So, no matter of truth, create, creating, created. But why it is not coming here? Okay, because we are not showing it. Maybe we are not showing it. But uh, uh, let me go back here and uh, refresh it. Yes, it is been created here. Users uh, already. Uh, okay, I forgot to show it. When you logged in, like at that time, the user was created. Okay, so it, it is created. And pumps is also been created. So both of them are created. Uh, now we have saved the data, but we want to show the data because when I'm coming here, I want to I want to see the data. So where we will see the data? So for that, what we need to do? We need to uh, go back to the uh, what is this page actually? this page okay so sometimes a lot many pages gives a lot of confusion okay so what is this page this page is actually this is what it is trying you can always and uh, there is one easy way you can always search it and go back here so here what we are going to do after this we are going to show the feed component feed component is already there but it doesn't have anything so feed it is showing me also okay feed it is showing me uh save it so yeah so this feed is there so, okay, feed is there. Now I will uh, go back here and it we don't have anything here. So let us go and build something. Use find is there and then import use it from React. Okay, so like this, it is there. Feed is there and then we will have uh, something here. One sec. Okay, so feed. Uh, we will have. Uh, uh, search. Uh, search text and set search text, and we will also have a const handle search inch equal to e. Like this, like this, and searching, and then we'll have a section as name equal to e. Then we'll have a on on and. Uh, At the form, all these things are like uh, tail being saying. Okay, so this we'll have, and then we will have a inside this form. I will have a input type uh, text placeholder will be there. Such for this, this is value is there. Search text which you have just created handle search uh, change. Okay, so this is this and required, and all these things are there. I right, save it and show it so we'll have a search for this form tag this is something which we have, have not yet created so now logic for this thing but beside this thing we'll have our like uh, the main thing like showing this uh, prompt list this is just a search tag which we created so uh, we need to create one like a prompt list i think we don't have that a prompt card i think i forgot to create that so um what so in the components, I will come and create a P R O M P T L I S T list dot J S R A F C E on list. Okay, back I will go back to the feed and here I will uh, have a uh, like a, okay. So this handle uh, search change is okay, but. Uh, 
we will uh, this search change anyways uh, as i told we are going to create it later on so in after this form i will go and call the pro mpt prompt list prompt list i will call this prompt list and so data is something which i am going to pass and it is all post and soon going to create it all post and um, and then add it equal to and then add click and then tag click equal to the hand tag click mm -hmm. uh, so this uh, all post is again a take const all post from a set all e o s t a s post equal to use state of the empty array because we are going to receive this okay so that is something which we are going to receive and then comes um delta click let's to me create this thing but we are going to have it later on okay and delta click equal to tag in this i did set present that give me gives me any error and remove this we will create it later on but we'll have a use effect hook use effect hook and this use effect uh will call some api endpoint which will get me the post okay so again i'm go here and do a const apts yes fetch post equal to a uh, sync like this and then const res equal to await fetch slash api slash pro mpt prompt like this and const data data equal to await press start json and then set all post is data right like this and we if you want use the async await like this we have to use call the fetch post also like this okay so i'm calling this fetch post like this but again we have we have not uh, created this i think this api prompt uh, so need we get it okay so yeah so Now let us go ahead first and uh, add something in this prompt list. Okay, so prompt list. I know this is only calling the prompt list because there is nothing like this. So this prompt list I am going to complete. So prompt list I am going to go and here it is expecting me to send two thing, two props. One is this uh, data, comma, and then tag click. I'm going to have, and then here in this thing, I'm going to have a div last name equal to md sixteen p r o and p t l a y o u p layout, and uh, here inside this prompt list, I will have a data dot map. E O S T post like this, and we'll call the prompt card, which uh, M P T card, which we have already created this prompt card. Okay, so this prompt card, this is this which which we have created earlier. Prompt card, we are going to send the key equal to. O S T post dot underscore ID post equal to post and and then tag click equal to and then tag click. Okay, so we have all these things. Save it now. Um, as I told, we have not created this uh, like. Uh, Where is this? This API endpoint yet? So we have to create this API endpoint. So how do we create this API endpoint? So we have 
to create this API upon slash API slash API means this folder is there. Then this prompt is there. Okay. It means that inside this API, I have to, okay, I have already a prompt. Okay. Prompt I already have. But in prompt, I have this new thing. Inside this new, this route.js is there. So this is, this seems to be a bit complicated, but not that complicated. Inside this form, I have to create a, again another ROUTV.js. Okay. So maybe you can create some other route also, but new prompt, new is the one. And this is something which we have just created. And this route and uh, this route will not be that uh, different. Okay. So first thing first is that uh, both of these things will be here also. So I will have it here, uh, but this was a post and this will be a get, and then also a copy because you see that uh, similarity and you are learning now backend code for both post and get in the next JS. Okay. So post and then I do a get that I think and uh, try in this, we don't have anything like in get. So I will move it, move it and uh, let me remove this, remove this, we really don't save anything in this, okay. So, I will come here and do a const PROMPPS equal to await PROMPP dot find like this and dot populate here creator, dot populate creator I'm going to do okay. So uh, that is there, and uh, I'm going to send this thing in the response. Status will be 200 for a get, 201 for a post. So let me check again. Okay, so I don't need a request also. Sync uh, currently we found find I'm finding by the creator and the new response and all, new response and all. Okay, failed uh, to not create, failed to. Fetch, we should have the right thing. Ready to fetch the yeah, MPTS. Ready to fetch prompts is there. Save it. Okay. So now, 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 in the main deal, in this, okay, let me close this thing in the prompt list. We have this thing. And in the prompt card, so in the prompt card, uh, we need to show all the things in the prompt card. So, one sec. So prompt card will go and uh, first thing first is let us have some imports. Okay. So let us have some imports first in the prompt card. We will have some imports. Okay. So like this, we will have some imports first. Mm, then we will have uh, the thing which I will require here. Like we are sending a lot of things here. So we send the post. We are sending the and then tag click. So I'm going to send something more also. Okay, so then I will create at that time. So post and comma handle tag click. We are going to send and then last name equal to P R O M P T. That's what C A R D card card. Okay, count card and then so prompt card. Okay, and uh, then I will have a div. So in this div, I will again have a class name of to show, uh, show something like this, okay. And then I will have uh, uh, like uh, another div inside that div. So inside that div, a lot of lips, okay. I'm also confused. So inside that div, I again have a flex thing and then I will have an image which I will get and with then all the have gave it there. Then I will have another div here. I will show the username and I will show the email. So these things I am going to show. So I will 
save it. Okay, I'll save it. Uh, okay, so see, I'm started to get this thing, but I think uh, it okay. Okay, I have not yet shown the other thing. I'm only showing the username and the email and a pick and all these things. Okay, so let's show the rest of the things. So this is an prompt card. Uh, we will also have a copy icon so like that copy the post we will have this thing so for that what we need to do here i'm going to come here and do a uh const c o p i e d comma set c o p i e d equal to views eight like this and then After uh, this, like uh, the flex call, the flex call, and Second, if flex call is uh, ending here, here, and uh, okay. After this div, I will have a div dot c o p u i b t and div dot copy button I have, and uh, then I will have some like uh, uh, image here. Yeah, I'll have an image here. Save it. Yeah, it is coming at the right place, so means it is <laughs> right actually. Okay, so after this div. This tip, I'll have uh, something more. Okay, so I'll have these two things on post prompt, and uh, uh, this is something which I am going to have it later on. So let me leave this thing. Hash. So I will save it. See, I'm getting this thing now. Yeah. So everything is coming now. Perfect. Everything is coming perfect now. So the post which we have saved it is now coming. Okay. So that is there. Now what uh, we need to do? We need to do this like this. This handle. This thing should work. Okay. So this is something which we are going to do. Um. So for this. What we need to do here? I should not have removed this thing. Okay, so first thing will on click will change this handle tag click and handle tag click will go this post tag. Okay. Then after this, okay, it is C O P -E Y copy dot tag. Okay, it changes a lot of things actually. The styles are according to that. Mm. So here I will have a on click equal to handle. CO PY handle copy is the handle copy is a simple clipboard thing. So how we have a clipboard thing? So it is like that. So nothing fancy. So handle copy. I will go on top of return here and paste this thing is there. This handle copy is there, which is like set copied this post or prompt and clipboard. This is something like code which you can get it from the internet. And set timeout. It will make it false also. So I'll save it now. What is there? So let me do this copy now. If it is right, I will paste it. See, this doing it is this pasting it. So this is how you can easily copy it from here. So let me do something more like that. Let me see like if everything is coming right or not. So I'll create a post and I don't write fake things. Let us write something good. Show. Me the best tag be 
exist for writing uh as why i think await functions in java like this and it will be jba crpp create See the moment I did it, did it, it is showing. Okay, so that is good. Okay. 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 Now create post. What is the correct syntax? Or a uh, for loop in P Y P H O O N Python, and we don't have to give a hash. We just give a pi pi and create. See, creating is coming for some time, and Python is also done. So this is done. So next, we are going to add the functionalities of uh, add, add, delete, uh, prompt, and uh, tag like this tag. Like I click on this tag, so it should show all the javascript one not the python one. so that is the thing which we are going to uh, create next okay so uh, but the edit and delete functionality i want to give only the uh, user only the user who is logged in so we'll go here and uh, after this api and uh, api is there api let me close this api or else it gets too much confusing so this inside this app i'll get a new folder called yaro file profile and this profile and then ege dot js page dot js so much too many files are open this page dot js i have again again page dot js i've created so Okay. So let me add some things here. Okay, let's see. And then I'll call it a self ERO file, self profile. This is the self profile of the user. Then self profile will call this profile page. Okay, self profile calling this. Self I cannot call it the same thing, or else it will give me error. Yeah. So this self profile is there, and then I'm going to have this uh, router and this uh, use session. So this router and use session I'm going to have, and then uh, on can be any handle add it equal to like this and const handle e e m e t e delete equal to like this okay. i'm going to have and then here i'm going to have the the ro fid profile so this uh, profile which we imported we're calling this thing but i don't have to call it like this self posing just like we do it in most of the reacting and then let us uh, have some of the things here Sec So, okay. so I will have this uh, name, description, data, 
handle edit and handle uh, delete is something which I would have this data let me have right now uh, empty array right so I'm going to fix it, fill it so like this this uh, uh, self profile will be there uh, now let us uh, complete uh, some more things in this self profile so here I will have a after this I will have a const my Post comma set my post equal to use state like this will be there and then use effect also I'm going to call like this and the use effect will be called with the session is changed session dot user dot id it is changed then it will be called and uh, now also we are going to uh, do the api call to get the data here so here we'll have a simple api call about this sec so this api call is going to slash api slash users and session dot user dot id i'm uh, getting the user id from here and going to this post so this profile should show only the users post okay and await json and uh, set my post data session dot user dot id if it is there then i'm do the set post and all and uh, instead of this empty array i will do the my post i do and i will save it uh but we again we have not created the uh, route so we have to create this route now so this route will be a bit different so api user so if it is open it is always good so api is there so first is that we have to go inside the api it means then i have to create the after this api i have to create the users okay users i have to create and then this is this is your a wildcard route so after this users i have to create a new folder called uh, id and uh, this will be done and the id and a uh, new folder p o s t s post and uh, r o u p e dot j s dot j s uh, we are going to create uh, again this uh, route and uh, where do I have a get route because it will be again be a get route so I'll go here uh, and uh, paste it here in this post okay so route uh, this post let me close this thing okay so this uh, post route it has been shown get is okay and this is also the prompts is also okay prompt dot find and uh, find we are not finding everything here so everything else is okay but i don't find everything here okay so this is very important creator is p a r a m s p a r a m s dot oh not like this which should be params only params dot ID, but this params we have we'll get it from somewhere. Right? This params dot ID we'll get it from here. So for that I have to do a request. Although we're not using it, request and P A R A M S params request and params. So this is how we are getting it. Params dot ID. I will save it. Now I will uh, go to this. Uh, See this page component is sending all this data to the profile component so we'll go to the profile component now because the route is been done let me see my terminal whether i have any error no i don't have any, any any error so i will go to this profile okay so this profile i'll go and uh, then i will uh, receive all uh, let me have it here i don't need this anymore so this profile i will have this different props like name desk data handle edit handle delete so let me have this thing so this profile i'll have a uh, name desk data handle edit comma handle delete like this i will have so 
Okay. So this uh, so this is the profile. Let me have uh, uh, something here in this uh, profile. Not in this profile. I have. I'll have this uh, section like this, and again, I'm calling this prompt card. So, prompt card, let me import the prompt card here. And uh, here, rest of the things are okay. Like, I'm showing the name of the profile description, and this uh, again, we're calling this prompt card from here also. So, we're passing this ID and handle edit and handle data. But that's not something which you are going to pass it. So, I will uh, have it here. Now, how do we go to the profile? We go to the profile by clicking on the image. So if I go to this, so see this profile is coming and its profile is showing all the things here. But we're passing some handle edit and all also. So we have to go to the prompt card because this prompt card is used at two places. Prompt card is like uh, is used here also to show these things. But here we're not uh, having the user to edit it. Okay, so the user can edit his or her post only. So I will go here to the prompt card now. This prompt card uh, will have uh, something uh, more now. Like this prompt card is already there. So this prompt card uh, uh, after this copied, I will have something more like this. I will have this router and all. And do I have? Okay, so I have uh, already copied all these other things. So this is something which I'm going to have. And after this, like uh, this and all, like this p tag and all, I'll have something which is which like uh, which need to show only if this is the case. Okay, so if the user owns this post, then only I need to show those things. So what i'm going to have here is this session dot user dot id to post dot creator dot id both of those things should be same both of those things should be same same okay so this if we, i go to this user uh okay so this creator id is from here okay post dot creator dot id is actually same to this uh session dot user dot i okay so that is there so this thing is there if uh, we have post for uh, from one user only so we are seeing only one thing only here okay so this is there this is what i'm doing it i'm showing this handle edit and handle delete these two things is something which i am going to show so if i save it now Okay, so I forgot to do one more thing here is that now I will have this uh, two things also here handle edit comma handle delete also I'm going to have it so I go back here see I will see the edit and the delete here if I go here I'm not seeing anything. Okay. So if I go here, I'm seeing the edit and the delete function naturally also. So that is what uh, we are getting it. But uh, we have not yet created the functionality for that. What will happen when I click on this edit? What will happen when I click on this delete? Okay. So we need to create some uh, new routes uh, for this also. It's for the edit, we need to create some patch route, delete, we need to create some delete route, and we need to create a new get route also. Why it is required? Uh, I'll tell okay. So, for this, uh, what we need to do first is that we need to create a new file in the API, of course, in the API. API prompts is there inside this prompts. I have all a lot of things, okay. So, inside this prompts, I'll have a ID like this, ID, and inside this ID, I will have a route.js file. In this route.js file, I will have a okay. So,
this route.js file, I will have this uh, again connected, then I will have a get which will again uh, um, get the data find my params.id it is getting my params.id because I want to click it and I want to get it and then the prompts not find and all and then the delete is like find by id and remove params.id again it has been used and then this uh, patch which is like put like find by id we have to find the post also by id and then we have to save it okay then we have to save it so this is something which we are doing it here finally again a lot like a node.js code this backend thing is a lot like node.js okay so if you, you have to be familiar with node.js for this stuff because it is advanced stuff and a bit like nowadays it is more popular to have nexus app which have the front end also and the back end also so like this we'll have and then in this uh, page dot js i will go and uh, like uh, app uh, profile page dot js i will go and here we have this handle edit and handle delete so handle edit will what will happen in this handle edit i'll have this post and this i will have a r o u t e r dot push like this backslash slash update p r o m p t greater than id equal to dollar p o s t dot underscore id post dot underscore id so this is what the params is we are passing the params here in the handle it okay so handle edit uh, we are passing the form but where is the update form we have not yet created the update form so this update form uh, we have to create now so this update form will go and uh, too much things are opened actually here i was like confused here okay so i don't want this api first thing so it will be at the uh, create prompt level like inside the app.js it will be at this update prompt is there and then page page dot js will be there and this uh, update prompt i will create like rafce update prompt okay so here i will have a uh, okay some of the things i'm going to have update prompt so first thing first i will have some api endpoints like this yeah. uh imports like this and then this will not be page this will be update p-r-o-m-p-t update prompt update prompt okay so now update prompt and update prompts are there and then i'll have some of the things some of the things here and then submitting and all is there and then then our use effect will be there okay our use effect uh, will be there which will call slash api prompt and all slash api prompt and it will get set the post with prompt and data and it is get prompt details like this is the template function which we have uh, created okay so right now only this much we are going to do save it uh, now uh, in this update prompt only we need to like uh, uh, have uh, so everything send it to when I click on this update prompt okay everything I need to send it to the form so I will have here like a const update P-R-O-M-P-T equal to a sync E and right now I'm just going to have a E dot prevent E E F A U L T E dot prevent default is there and uh, 
Baik, Sir. to pass everything to the return again so okay this form is a type is edit that type and time we did it type as create so post suppose that is the usability of this thing okay and an update prompt is there so that is there and uh, now also let us see like if if i edit here so what will happen here if i edit this one see I'm I'm going here and explain how the map function is working and all those things are uh, coming perfect. Okay, so prompt and both of these things are populated. So that is the main thing. This both of these things are populated. So now this update prompt uh, uh, like uh, this need to do something like when we create this update from it they need to do something and uh, let us do work like uh, add the code for this here okay so what this update form is doing uh, it is again it is if it is not uh, missing prompt id if prompt id is not there mm -hmm. and await uh, api prompt prompt id and i'm uh, sending this patch here api prompt okay api prompt and prompt id this is something which we have created earlier okay so this is something which we have created okay so that it is going to that endpoint and then just uh, patching it using the patch request and all then i will save it now now let us add something here explain how the map function works in maybe i'll write latest es es6 javascript and maybe i'll do a dot also here and then what i have to do i have to click on this edit i have to click on this edit editing explain how the map function work in the latest es6 javascript not they are of same size also okay so that is how the edit functionality is done last thing which we are going to do is the delete functionality we are going to do the delete functionality so let us do that and um, for that we will come back to this uh, page uh, um, uh, this, uh, not this page not this update from the page but this uh, so there are so many things like app uh, profile page yeah this page app profile page so this page we are there and we just added the handle edit functionality so we will add the handle delete functionality and uh, delete functionality will take a ac async post async post and then what it is uh, going to do this uh, delete this delete uh, will okay so delete will go to this api prompt and uh, it will take the post id and method is delete and then it will filter the post and it will show the post it will uh, do the send post as that okay so slash api prompt am i thinking where is this api prompt and all so slash api slash from this id and this root is there and here we have the delete also so we have the delete also we're getting a delete from here okay so that is okay so i will uh save it and uh now uh let us do one thing okay so let me create a post and uh, then we'll see if the delete functionality is working or not, which is the best OS, Mac OS or Windows. Right, like this, I will add and maybe I will add it as of OS. Okay. And then I will create it. But I don't like this prompt and all. 
So I cannot delete it from here. So from where I can delete it, I can go to my profile and from here I can delete it. If everything is okay, I will delete it and it is deleted. If I go outside also, I'm not seeing that thing anymore. So now when last functionality is remaining, which is like the search bar. Okay. So this search bar is right now not working. So we have to add this uh, search bar. So this search bar, we will go to this feed.js uh, file and here only I think uh, we have this handle uh, uh, search, uh, handle search change and all we have. Okay. So we will have to do it here okay so handle tag click is also there like from i'm clicking this tag it should open only that's those tags okay so for that no first thing is that i need a need a state as always so const ca say search search r e s u l d s comma set Yeah, I know it is a lot. Such searched result equal to use state of empty array like this. Then I will have a okay. So here I will have uh, two three things. Okay, so the Two, three things let me have i think because we are going to do deployment also after this so uh first thing is this is a filter prompt is something which we are going to have in which it will get the text and it will do the all post dot filter and it will filter out uh, that thing okay so this filter post is actually called from both of them handle search change and handle uh, tag click change both of them will have the same kind of functionality and then tag click change which is happened when we click on this something so uh what it will do handle tag click it will set the search thing okay so you're getting it it will set it here and then i will like uh filter the uh, i am calling this filter prompt that from both of these places here the set search text is like i'm taking it from uh, e dot target dot value set search text okay and here i'm taking it from tag so that difference is that we are combining both of the features and here i'm just filtering out uh, depending upon the text and uh, uh, text in the includes in the prompt and the uh, text in the tag so means something in this and something in this okay so i'll save it then we have to uh, add it uh, here like uh, after this uh, like this prompt list it will not go directly right now okay so it will go on the basis of search search text which is this search text which we are setting it here it will go uh, on that uh, if the search text is there right now see right now there is no search text means i want all the posts if the search text is there i will want this uh, if the search is, is there, I will want something. But if the search text is not there, I will want something else. Okay, so what I want. So let me first do one thing. Let me copy both of them because we're going to call it two times. So this uh, prompt search this and uh, prompt search this. Okay, so all post is there. All post will go if we don't do anything. Okay, So here, I will go this and search results okay so i'll pass this search results whatever it is okay so pass this search results now let me do one more thing here let me like uh, add some more here okay so what i'm doing here log out sign in oh 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 oh, oh, oh. it is not <laughs> it is directly going because in the browser it is set and maybe i have to set the cookies or all so yeah okay i will do one thing we'll when we will deploy the project we'll log in from some other account okay so that will be a good way because we're going to deploy it also and deployment is a bit long process okay let us check something from here only like if i write java and uh okay all the things are being shown J-A-B-A Java JavaScript Something is not happening. Oh, I got it because see, this is like a crap like uh, if oh no, 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 no 
I have done something wrong. Okay. I forgot to remove this thing. I have to remove this thing. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to remove this thing. That is nothing was wrong. Like it is like uh, but why it is not coming. One sec. After this form, we'll have this thing set search, which is which is like this. I'll save it. I think I missed something like okay. So all post has been shown. So let me right now type J A B A. Okay. So see JavaScript has been shown. And if I also uh, click here. Only Python version. So means all of the things are done. So actually, uh, uh, we have uh, completed our app, but now we are going to like uh, put it in Vercel. Okay, Vercel we need to put it, but for that we need to also push it to GitHub. So let me quickly push it to GitHub. So I'll come here, Control C, GitHub pushing. So you will get a good course on on GitHub pushing. So I'll make it a bit big. So I'll make my GitHub. I'm going to send you this GitHub only. But the one thing I want to see, like I don't want to send my environment file. Okay, so environment file will not be so sent to GitHub. I don't want to send my environment file. Okay, so I will come here and uh, do uh, like uh, I create a new repository, and it will be next bash yt next between crash code for youtube create it and uh, as always like uh, one on git i uh, think you have to copy paste all of this thing except the git add command is not correct <laughs> this is like i'm not going to teach like what it is all means Maybe so. First thing is that you have to do a git init. I'm also just git init to uh, initialize the git repository. Git add. We have a lot of files, so git add dot. We we'll put it to the staging stage, and then maybe I'll use this thing only. Git commit any message you can give. It will put it in the final stage. It is committing everything. Then git main is there. I will put it in the main. Then uh, get the uh, remote uh, main branch. Remote will uh, what it will do? It will create a remote branch. Okay. So and finally the it push it will push the okay. So now okay. Uh, we're deploying it is in de deploying it in Vercel because Vercel only created next yes. So it is you can do it in Netlify also, but Vercel is much more better because because they know next is in and out. They are the one who created it. So, Vercel, I might be having a lot of Vercel thing. Okay, because I so let me make it a bit bigger also. Add new project and uh, it, uh, what is the name I have given? Uh, let's keep the name unique. So, the name is next trash yt. Uh, next trash sh. Okay, so it is not there. It means I have to configure it. So I don't give it give it the complete access like this. I will go like this, and and, and okay. So let me make it a bit bigger, and and, and not all repository. Next, was it next crash yt? Uh, next crash yt was the name I think. Next crash, right? Yeah, next crash, right? So, yeah, this one save it. Okay, so after this, I will import it. Okay, so here it is very important because we have a lot of environment uh, files. So, environment uh, variables, not files, and variables. So, give those in variables, it's very important. So, uh, because Anyways, we didn't push the environment variable. Let me see. Yeah, we didn't push the environment variable is not pushed because it is there in the getting line. You should never push your environment variables. So how you should give, uh, give it? So like this, I will uh, maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. So uh, the environment variable, first environment variable is this. 
गूगल आईडी एड नेक्स्ट एनवायरमेंट के रिवेल इज गूगल प्रेस और कोड विल नॉट इवन स्टार्ट ओके दिस स्टेट है then mongo db to arrive add next one this is something which we need to change soon i will tell how we are going to change it add and this is also very important okay if you get attention so okay I'll tell why it is okay. So uh, next on this, and uh, it will be again this, and finally my secret. So it is added. So all the things are added. Now we will deploy it. now it is getting deployed it uh, doesn't takes much time so it will get deployed okay so uh, let me tell one thing like uh, the next thing which we need to do is is to actually change this auth url and auth url intern because right now it is local as 3000 so what we are going to change it we are going to change it to whatever is deployed here whatever will be deployed here we are going to change it to that thing so that's why we will allow it to fail once like it will not fail completely but uh, it is sort of fail and uh, like you are, we will not be able to use the login functionality and all so when it is going to like a sort of fail we are going to what we are going to do we are going to uh, take the deploy url because we will get one deployment url and that deployment url we require that deployment url and um, we need to add that deployment url in our next auth url and now next the auth url internal okay so see it is done so it doesn't takes much time because worse it is worse than So you'll get this nice thing now. Continue to dashboard and visit it. Okay, so and see visit it, but this actually this sign in will not work. Okay, so yeah, so sign in will not work anyways. So now what to do? Again, I will do the visit. So this is our app name. Okay, so this is our app name. So I will copy this thing. So uh, I will go back here. and deployments uh our project 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 no uh, mm, we have to go to the settings actually settings we have to go and environment variables and 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 okay so this is this are the two environment variables these two environment variables we have to change so from where do we change it okay i think they yeah, people keep on changing their ids and all of it so i will edit it and we don't need this anymore so we have to have this uh, let's see the backslash okay so url and url internal save it so both of them i will save it now okay one more thing we need to do we need to uh, go to the web client here also what we were do we were uh, uh, like uh, authorizing only this thing okay local host 3000 so at both the places i have to do this thing but i will remove this ending and here also we have to add not one but two like this Go back like this and like this. Okay, and also I will save it. Okay, I will save it. It is saved here. So once it is saved here, I will go back. The deployment doesn't starts automatically, and so I will go to deployment. See, the deployment didn't started automatically. 
बट वै शुड आई गो प्रोजेक्ट ओके प्रोजेक्ट 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 देर शुड बी अ बटन समवेयर ओके Sometimes they don't have this thing. Deployment. I will go. I don't know about that. This will I ever redeploy this or what? Because I don't want to redeploy this thing. Okay. Let me see. Next, the following domain point. The meaning environment. Next, trash. YT versus okay, so that is good. Actually, I wanted to point to the same thing. So now I will redeploy, and uh, like in redeploy because we didn't change anything here. If we would have changed something here, I would have pushed the code and it would have redeployed. Okay, that is also one another way like to do it. Okay, so. That is there now. It will redeploy and it will be done. So let it do the deployment thing. And please do like and subscribe if you're not done it. Uh, nowadays we are creating these big projects, which takes a lot of time to prepare. All these projects, like uh, it takes a lot of time to prepare for this period, uh, like 15-20 days. It takes for one project to be prepared. Okay, so please do do like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not done it. Okay, so like I will visit it again. And uh, oh no, I don't want to visit this thing. I want to visit. This thing, I don't know whether uh, it's deployed here or not. Okay, so it is not deployed here. So okay, so I think I need to redeploy from here. Okay. Because when previous time I clicked on this visiting, it was doing it from here. I don't know why it is not doing it from here. So let's see whether this time it will do. So sometimes these things happens. Let me see whether this thing will be doing from here. So this is a live thing which you should know. Like it happens sometime and all. So. If let me like uh, see if it takes more time, I will uh, fix it and then uh, show it to you, like uh, you all. So let me see another. It is forty two seconds. How long it will take and all? Okay. yeah so actually when i do this visit it should open this thing okay so i don't know whether why it is opening this and something else so again i don't think it will work yeah i do not work actually so i don't know so more to production means what the following domain will point to the new deployment okay Next crash. Wait, wait a sec. What is this? Next crash yt versus dot i. Next crash yt versus dot i. Okay, so maybe you need to do this thing like promote to production. Okay. So let us see that thing if it is like uh, perfect or not. Uh, because I learned a new thing today like uh, promote to production is something which you need to do. Okay. So that is there. So let it be done. Just now it's coming. And Visit it. 
Oh no, it is still not uh, working. Okay, so let me check how to fix it. Okay, thank you. So it is started working again, like the same link. It started working again after five minutes. It not started working. It started working. So let me sign in. So uh, see. Oh, it is again blocked. I don't know. It was working actually. Sign in. Okay. Yeah. So it is working. Okay. Just I have to refresh it. Okay. So it is working. Let uh, like. Uh, Mm, let let like do one more thing here. Let me uh, go from here because it, the sign in is like automatically it is taking. So I want at least the prompt to be taken. Okay, so now it is taking taking me to the prompt. So I will use another. So see my another ID is it is saying. So like I will write which is the best operating system Mac OS Windows or Linux and OS and create it creating and why it is not showing okay uh, i think uh, i have to check out that also like why it is not showing here it is oh here it is showing but here it is not showing all right maybe we have done some uh, some mistakes here and this is something which you need to fix all right so this is the task for all of you this you need to fix the thing what is the issue here and you need to fix that thing and thank you we'll end it here and this is a task for you to fix maybe a very small issue is there okay so thank you all and uh, please do like and subscribe thank you